Hello basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from Mel's Basketball Training and today I'm going to give you some five beginner full court press basketball plays that you can use. Now all of these are against the man-to-man -man defense because generally speaking, if you're a beginner, you're going to be playing against other beginners, which is usually younger kids. So what that usually means, in my opinion, is they are probably not playing a full court zone press. They're playing a full court man-to-man. -man. So these are all against man-to-man -man full court press defenses. Let's get down to the clipboard and let's check out these basketball plays. Okay, so in this first play, whatever side this guy is on or the ball is on, it's going to be the opposite side that is screening. So from there, player 2 is going to be setting a screen for player 1, and player 1 is going to be running right across towards that opposite side. This is going to be a bounce pass to player 1, and then most likely his man is going to fight through. Once his man fights through, what's going to happen is player 2, he's going to be setting a screen down for player 3, and player 3 is going to use that screen, and he's going to be cutting right up the middle of the court. At this time, player 1 is going to pass to player 3. We have not dribbled the basketball just yet until player 3 gets that ball. Player 3 gets that ball, and now we are basically in a 3-on-2 situation, or at least that's what we're hoping for, because in this case player three he's the guy with the ball those two defensive players are going to be setting back into a defense because now their three defensive players are nowhere near them so now it's going to be a three on two if it's not a three on two they switched off but player three was able to get the ball past half court you can set up your offense or you can wait until player one comes down which is generally your point guard for him to set up the offense now in our second play, I like to call this the touchdown pass. So if you've got a player who can really pass the ball far, he is going to be the one who is inbounding the ball. Next, the player we want to get the ball is here is going to be player two. He's the one right in the middle. These three players are shoulder to shoulder. From there, player one, player three gets that ball. These player two is going to release, and these guys are going to close in. That way. Player 2 can get open, and it's going to be a 2-on-1, or at least that's what we're hoping for. This play worked really well when I was in grade, I think it was grade 9 or grade 10. I can't quite remember. We were in a do-or-die situation in the in the finals. Uh, just It was like the semifinals, and we ran this play, and it worked. Player 2 uh, got the ball down. Player 5 cut him off. And then we had player 5 who was cutting down the lane and he was able to get a nice easy layup. He was able to jump really high so it was actually almost a dunk. Which, but we still won. We won by one point. It was all that mattered. We had 4 seconds left on the clock and this play worked perfectly. In this next play, what we're going to have is player two, I mean player 1 setting a screen for player 2. Player 2 is going to go down into this corner. Now what's going to happen is player 2 is probably going to fight through. And now if the team was smart, they would try and double team. But also at the same time, if they weren't smart, uh, they wouldn't double team. Because player 1 is going to be setting a screen on the player who is going to be defending. And player 3 is going to be leaking out. And player 2 should be able to get him the ball. Now, if they don't trap, if they try not to trap or if they just don't trap, what's going to happen now is player 1 will set a screen on player 3. And player 3 blue is going to go, personally, I would prefer him to go up the middle of the court and not in between these two players. It's way too tight. I would prefer him to go up that side. That way we should be able to get the pass to him. And again, 3 on 2 situation. Get the ball past half, set up the offense, or just try and score one or the other. Now in this fourth play, what we're going to have is player 2 setting a screen for player 1. Player 1 is going to pop down. This is going to be a bounce pass to player 1. He could have also went to this side as well. It really doesn't matter what side he goes to. Player 1 is going to get that ball. After that screen, most likely Player 2 Red is going to be behind Player 2 Blue. Player 2 Blue is obviously your team. From this, In this case, he's going to cut across the, key, across the court and Player 1 is going to then pass him the ball. Now, what can happen is Player 2 is going to be right on his tail and then from there he's going to try and force him into this corner. However, what we're going to have now, player 3 is already in bounds. Player 1 is going to go and set a screen for player 3, and player 3 is going to be going up that middle of the court. And then, player 2 is going to be able to pass the ball to player 3, and player 3 is going to be able to continue down the court. Now, if we're lucky, 
we can now be in a three on two situation with players four and five down along the baseline with player three driving that's going to collapse those two players and now we have two lanes that are open along the baseline for those two players to go and cut and drive towards the rim now in this fifth play this is more on the advanced side but if you have noticed that the defense is not very quick but they're still full court pressing you you can have player one try and juke out his defender and get open wherever he goes and he's open he gets that ball if he's unable to get open you're kind of screwed but you're gonna have player two cutting down anyways and he should be the backup option so what we're gonna have is if player one is unable to get open player two is gonna run down and he's going to receive that ball from there we're gonna have player one setting a screen for player three player three is gonna be cutting down court however if player one is able to get that ball what I want to see is if with player one getting that ball is now player two still cutting down however he's going to be setting a screen for player three player three is going to be using that screen and he's going to be cutting up the middle of the court player one is going to be able to get him that ball and he's able to continue down the other option this is kind of a two-in-one kind of play is instead of that if player one is a very very good ball handler like you trust him with your team's future kind of thing we can have player two set a screen on player one and now we can have player three going up this side of the court and we can now have player one going up that right side of the court now from there we can have a four on two situation that's a possibility or a four on three it depends on how fast player three really is or we can just set up the offense. It's totally up to you as the coach and as a player. Now, I hope that these basketball plays help you win more games. If they do, let us know in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. And if you have any topics, topics that you would like me to cover, let me know down there as well. And if you want some custom basketball practice plans, go check out the link in the description. I'll see you guys again later on today for the second video of the day.